my name is Brooklyn Ivy. I've been in Deerfield since K4, and boy, is that a lot of years. I want to thank my mom, dad, and my sister for helping me through this. A big thanks to all my friends. Thank you, Calista. You have always brightened my days. Thank you, Macy, for being so kind and generous. Thank you, Mary Elizabeth, for getting me through tough situations. And thank you, Margaret Hodges, for always making me laugh. There are so many people I could thank right now, but I don't want to keep everyone waiting. Now, let's talk about the teachers. Miss Phillips, how do I start with you? I love to draw now and practice almost every day thanks to her. As I say, the small things can make the biggest difference. We wrote about how we made what we had done the weekend before. I drew a little picture in the box of my grandma, my grandpa, my sister, and me. I showed Miss Phillips and she held it up in front of everyone in class and said, wow, look how neat and nice this looks. I was so happy. So thank you, Miss Phillips, for doing that for me. Now it's time for me to brag on Miss Williams. In K-5, I was so excited to go to first grade so I could be a big kid. The only first grade teacher I knew was Miss Finnicum. We saw each other in the halls and just went over and hugged each other. I thought I was going to get her, but I was wrong. I got Miss Williams. Now, I'm not really known as the shy type, but I have to admit, I was pretty nervous. I was like, now who's Miss Williams exactly? I went to that room thinking it would be the worst year, but I was so wrong. She made me feel welcome, introduced me, and helped me with anything I needed. She's the reason that I'm not scared to get classes every year. Thank you, Miss Williams. Next teacher I'm going to brag about is Miss Jones. Wow, Miss Jones. She is one of the only reasons I don't have an F in math. I still sing the song she taught us with multiplication. Okay, now for Miss Taylor. She was so fun. The one moment I remember best with her was Leprechaun's Day. She walked into the classroom that was unusually dark. Her sitting in her chair, she tells us to sit down. Then, as soon as everyone sat down, she ties us to our chairs, wrapping layers and layers of string, except our hands. She said we were her leprechaun bait, and she was going to catch a leprechaun using us. Then, she told us to write a paragraph about how crazy our English teacher is. And finally, for Miss Etheridge and Miss McClendon. I rolled right into class being happy because I somewhat knew Miss Etheridge. She was so funny. We did this thing every morning called Morning Meeting. One of my favorites was when she taught us how to dance with girls and boys. She showed us some classic wedding dance moves. Then poor Helen was the victim in that mess. Miss McClendon, she made social studies so much more fun. She would act it out and we would do buzzer games. But the point of all that was to say, thank you, all of the teachers. Now for Dr. Meskel. Dr. Meskel has done so many things for me. The way I met her is the funniest part. We got a new principal one year and I was so excited to make a good first impression. Of course, this wouldn't be funny if it did work out. So that plan kind of failed. In second grade, I met Dr. Metzkel. It was so sweet. She patted me on the back. Oh wait, I forgot to mention that I was throwing up. But otherwise, it was a pretty nice moment, sort of. In third grade, I wrote a story and showed it off to the class. Then a little while later at home, my mom got an email. It was an invitation to Odyssey of the Mind. I was like, sure, whatever, I'll try it out. But now I'm so glad I said yes. Odyssey is like my favorite thing ever now. I remember our first year when we were done with the skit, but we still had time. We didn't know what to do, but of course one of us had to think of something. Koi got up and started doing the chicken dance. Then Biz joined him. It was so funny. We came in first in the end though, then second place in the semifinals, and last, at the finals, we came in six out of the world. Can you believe that? Now for the speech contest. The first time doing it, I was kind of bummed and chose a little cute speech about being jealous of someone. Then I made it to the next round. Then I made it to the last round. I didn't win, but I had a lot of fun. Second year, same thing. But you won't believe what happened this year. Same thing. But making it to this last round almost winning is a trophy in itself. So what if you don't want a basketball game or you lose in math games? The fact that you were brave enough to compete makes you the real winner. I have learned that mistakes can happen and that is just another step to greatness. As Jim Ron said, happiness is not a chance, but a choice. So for all the K4s and K5s, your amazing adventure of Deerfield Windsor Lower School has only begun.